Okay, so here we have a question about the area of a rhombus, and that's a shape we might often forget about, but just remember what a rhombus essentially is, is it's, it's a square. That is, if you can imagine that the square has these like pivot points, so maybe you have a square made from straws, and, and, and the straws are connected to some kind of wheel or pivot that you can turn. If you were to kind of take the square, let's say, and, and lean it one way or the other, Right, so let's say I just took these legs and I kept them the same length, but I just kind of leaned them this way right here. That would be an example of a rhombus. A rhombus is, is essentially still a square because all the side lengths are still equal. That's a key component to a rhombus, except it's almost tilted in a sense. Right, so you can think of this here as your rhombus. And that leads us to some of the important properties. Again, the first property that you're going to be able to use here is that each side is equal. Another property you might be able to use here is that the diagonals, which connect these opposite corners, right, just like they are in the, um, well, let me say that the diagonals can be different, uh, unlike in the square. However, what's nice is that they cut each other in half and they always cross at right angles. So you're going to be able to use, usually when you deal with the rhombus, some kind of idea about um, right triangles to find the area. So let's look at this question, I think we'll get it. Um, here they tell us the perimeter of rhombus math, M-A-T-H, so we could say, all right, we have this rhombus here, let's say, um, again, M-A-T-H, so math, it's a sketch of a rhombus right here. It's easy to see here, I'm drawing more of a parallelogram uh, these legs don't even look equal, but rhombus, they would be exactly equal, all the legs. That's the, the basic idea of the rhombus. So here we have M, A, T, H. And we're just told that the perimeter is 68, and uh, we're given then the length of one of the diagonals is 16. So let's say this one right here is 16. What is the number of square centimeters in the area of the rhombus? So what is the area of the rhombus? Well, again, if all the sides are equal and the perimeter is 68, that means we added all four sides to get 68, four equal sides. So to work backwards, we can divide by four, right? That'll help us work backwards here. And that equals what? Well, four goes into 40 10 times, and there's 28 left over, so that's 17, right? Because four times seven is 28. That's how I do my division there. And each side is 17. Now, uh, we want to find the, the area here, and that just means that, right, to find the area of the rhombus, I guess some easy ways of thinking about it, or it's, it's almost uh, easy to think about the fact that this is uh, two triangles here, except um, that the, the area of the rhombus, right, another way to think about it is to use the diagonals. So here, this diagonal, if we can find that as well, we have both diagonals, and then we can find the area of the rhombus. And we'll get to that idea in a moment. Let me just clear this right here. So, we, so we're going to use our properties of, of right triangles. And oh, shit, I don't even need that 16 in there. If I draw this diagonal here, remember the important features that these diagonals cut each other exactly in half, and they cross at right angles. So the right triangles we have are here, right? four of them with the right angle at the center. And if this diagonal was 16, it's cut in half when it crosses the other. So each side of this diagonal is now 8. And we're, we're almost finished. Um, if you can find the area of one of these triangles and times it by 4, you've got the area of the rhombus. So can we do that? Well, yes, we can do that because we know one leg is 8. Cross this out. So that one leg is 8 squared plus b squared, the unknown, equals 17 squared. And here we can solve for this. 17 squared is 289. Uh, 6 squared is, 8 squared is 64. So 8 squared plus b squared equals, equals 17 squared. In other words, 64 plus b squared equals 289. If we subtract 64 from both sides, what happens? Well, this is 0, and we get b squared equals 225. Taking the square root, b is equal to 15, and we're almost done. So here, this, this is 15, and 
and that's the length right here. So this is 15 as well. So one diagonal is 30, one and one 16. What I would probably do to find this area is just take 8, the base of each triangle, and times it by 15, and we're going to divide it by 2. Now, if you think about this algebraically, we're doing that four times because there are four triangles, so times four. And then if you set it up like this, 8 times 15, right, that divided by 2 times 4. You might see that this, is a little, this has a little bit of canceling out because 4 divided by 2 is just 2. And now we get 8 times 15, right, which is 8 times 10, which is 80, plus 40 is 120, doubled is our area which is 240 square centimeters, which is right here. All right, hope that helped.